How to use Gemini AI Assistant Gems Tutorial for Beginners Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can build your own customized AI agents with Gemini Gems. So if you're thinking about training your own model or building a new version of Gemini that is catered to your particular needs, then you can do this with Gemini Gems. And I do this for everything where I need to use the same prompt over and over again. Let's say I'm using the same prompt to generate a certain type of article or essay or report, then having to retype that entire thing can be such a hassle. So you can now simplify this process with the help of Gemini Gems. To get started, simply head on over to gemini.google.com. Now, if you've already logged on via your browser, you're going to be logged on. But if you haven't, you can just select your Google account that you want to use to get started with Gemini. Now, you don't need any premium for this. You just need regular old Google's AI Gemini. So from there, you're going to click on Explore Gems on the left. Once you click on Explore Gems, you will find some pre-made gems by Google. These include a storybook, a chess champ, a brainstormer, and a career guide. You also have writing editors, learning coaches, and coding partners. So if you want, you can get started with one of these pre-built gems so you can have a feel of what these gems can do. However, if you want to get started from scratch, simply click on New Gem over here to build your brand new gem. Then you're going to name your gem. So we're going to name our gem. Let's say our gem is going to be called our essay writer. And just like so, I'm going to give it the instructions that I want it to follow. So within my essay writer, I want it to, and I can even use the power of AI to further generate my instructions. But within your instructions, you want to make sure to include the things you want it to do, the things you don't want it to do, the role you want it to play, as well as the context of the information. So you are a report writer. Or let's say we're going to make this a bit more interesting. Let's convert this into research assistant. And now I'm going to create a specific AI tool that is going to help me in performing and finding topics for research. You are a research assistant. You specialize in psychology and IO psychology. You find interesting variables for study. You focus on correlational studies and quantitative studies. Now I can further build on this prompt to specify what type of actions I wanted to perform and how I wanted to take those actions. Below that, I can enter my knowledge. So you can add any files for your gem to reference. If you want to build a specific AI assistant that is going to perform things only accordingly to the knowledge base that you're providing, you can also add that over here. On the right side, you will find your preview. Now, why should you be using a preview when you're not saving your gem? Well, the reason for that is if you're providing really vague instructions, then the AI tool is not going to be as specific as you might want it to be. So if you want it to be highly specific, I ask that you guys preview it first and then add more instructions accordingly. So I'm going to ask it, hey, find me a easy to research topic in IO Psych. And this is a very generalized question and let's take a look at what it can answer me with. So it has given me a research proposal, hypothesized relationship, why this topic is easy and the established measures. And this is job satisfaction and employee turnover retention. So this is really basic. Now find something a bit more niche, but still easy. Make it a 1IV, 2DV topic. And now let's take a look at the new response. So for a niche sale manageable topic, here are two perceived organizational support and two key outcomes are burnout and organizational citizenship behavior. Now I'm going to ask it again to give me a list of more interesting topics. Only give me a topic list. And now let's take a look at what our research assistant is going to ask. So these are a few of the different topics that it has provided. Now, I think it works fine, but if I want it to be a bit more specialized, I can further add that in the description. But I think it's pretty decent for what I'm trying to do. So now I'm going to click on save on the top right. Once I click on save on the top right, this will save my research assistant or my new AI gem. And then I can click on start chat. So now on the left, you guys can see within my chats, I have my research assistant specifically, and I can 
ask the Gemini research assistant that I've built the specific query. So what exactly is this going to be differing or how exactly is this going to be differing and benefiting you? Well, the way that this is going to benefit or differ is because it's highly specialized. For example, I'm going to ask it to give me three variable topic combos and now i'm going to copy the same prompt and then i'm going to add that in a brand new chat with gemini but not my research gem and you will find a large difference in the responses so these are some of the topics it has suggested for me just like so and we have a list of 10 topics now if i go into new chat over here and this is the regular version of gemini and then if I type in this specific topic, you guys can see it is giving me some really random answers. So it has just given me random research topics from a bunch of different diverse fields. Although this answer is correct, it's not the answer that I wanted. So building your own AI gem or AI tool is going to be helpful, especially when you have repetitive topics or repetitive queries or prompts that you're going to be adding. Now, if I want to further proceed, I can further proceed with my gem. And if I want to build a new gem, I can always click on explore. Once I do that, I can click on new gem and build my specific gem. Whether that gem is for therapy, whether that is for article writing, whether that is for just niche information or specialized information, you can easily find a wide variety within Gemini. It's super diverse and it can help you in building anything. So if I want to build a counselor, and you are a therapist who helps counsel and support your chatter. You provide positive feedback, but still hold the person accountable. You objectively assess information. And now I'm going to click on save and now I have my specific counselor built in. So you will notice the chats that I have with this one are going to sound really different. So even if I just say hi to this particular AI chatbot, it's very different. You guys can see it says hi. It takes a lot of courage to reach out. I'm glad you did. Thank you for being here today. What's on your mind? What would you like to talk about? And those are key phrases that you would hear a therapist say. So these types of gems are really efficient and useful when you're repeating the same conversations and having to re-enter similar prompts. And just like so, you can get started with building your own AI gems with with Gemini. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos. And if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else, make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well. And if you find that there is something missing, I will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel. So make sure to tell me if you find anything missing. So that was it for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.